Round 2 of Chess Olympiad 2024 Israel against Ireland Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster from Israel and today we will watch together the match between Ireland and Israel in the second round of the Olympiad. So what can I tell you guys? We will start with our man of the day, Grandmaster Ilya Smirin with white pieces against international master David v... Vites Simons. Yes. I hope I pronounce it good. So let's see it. e4, e6, d4, d5, and now knight to c3. Ilya Smirin, very good player, of course, you know, one of the best in Israel, a really talented guy. Uh, now he's 56 years old and he's strong as always. So let's see him playing. The French opening, of course, with knight c3. D takes e4 was played by black and also of course knight f6 there are move bishop b4 of course um, I don't know yeah that's it bishop e7 h6 something something around this but of course D takes e4 also one move knight f6 and bishop b4 is the most common um, you know options for black knight takes e4 knight d7 knight f3 just developing a knight knight f6 and knight takes f6 knight x and bishop to e3 so this move is you know maybe give us a, a hint about maybe queen d2 and long castle but let's see so just developing a bishop right and in the next future also would like to um, develop this bishop from f1 knight d5 attacking this bishop on e3 bishop to d2 quiet move everything is fine White don't want to be hurry and that's it. So now c5 was played very strong move by black knight to e5 This was the the point From Ilya Smirin to play here after c5 the point of course after c takes d4 bishop b5 check king e7 and queen h5 and as you can see these three pieces are doing just amazing job also this bishop from d2 will connect with bishop g5 or bishop b4 in some ways if this knight on d5 will not be here but this position is very very uh, you know like scary for black i don't know f6 queen f7 checking d6 knight c4 king c5 a4 you cannot play with this king on c5 so after knight e5 he played the move a6 i think overall it's very logical because bishop b5 was the threat so now c3 was played and bishop d6 i thought during the game maybe c takes d4 but hey queen e4 check this was the point uh, behind the c3 move by Ilya Smirin and now b5 just bishop takes b5 don't forget that after a takes b5 queen takes a8 and exchange up for white so here after bishop d7 i think just queen takes d4 and that's it white has a really good position bishop d3 maybe rook d1 maybe long castle short castle yeah it looks fine because knight takes d7 we will have two bishops and yeah open position it's great so after uh, c3 was played the move bishop to d6 Queen a4 check, bishop d7, just knight takes or queen takes. Oh, maybe it's complicated. Yeah, after knight takes d7, maybe b5, the best move here, right? Um, so yeah, bishop takes b5, a takes b5, queen takes queen d7, and black is winning. So yeah, it was very important by Ilya Smirin to take with the queen. Amazing move, I think. It's a brilliant one because he's understanding that not playing like, you know, with the hand. Think one second, how, how much time he thought? Yeah, immediately he played queen takes d7 immediately brilliant idea by Ilya Smirin uh, every move is thinking what your opponent thinking right what he plans to play queen d7 just amazing uh, congratulations Ilya for this queen takes knight takes king takes and now d takes e5 bishop takes and g3 I really like how Ilya Smirin is playing you know he's going for the end game you know this is the Olympiad and you must you know feel like the pressure you w must win but hey he's going for the end game he has two bishops slowly slowly improve your pieces you don't need to rush to win a game you know this is the most important thing that we really must learn from Ilya Smirin chess game is a long game you don't need to hurry with checkmate or winning Two bishops in this endgame is really good 
and you know options to win these chances of course so rook a d8 bishop g2 developing a bishop king c8 king e2 as you can see you he don't need to do like castle right and um, just putting the king on e2 is very safe here connecting between the rooks brilliant one knight f6 and now rook hd1 of course because the bishop f2 was the threat so rook hd1 because now the bishop is safe um, and rook d7 was played and b4 just incredible move by Ilya Smirin is feeling that this bishop now is under attack the next move will be c4 c5 c6 and yeah he just want to open all the diagonals all, all the position for his two strong bishops bishop b6 and c4 amazing bishop d4 just rook ac1 bringing another piece into the game b6 and now c5 going for it b takes bishop f4 amazing move also b takes c5 was really good but bishop f4 is just unbelievable look at this this diagonal this diagonal this rook this rook all of Ilya smearing pieces are doing just unbelievable c takes b4 of course illegal because of this pin so yeah the next move will be b takes c5 and that's it there is doing just amazing job knight h5 and now rook takes d4 a brilliant move a sacrifice of a rook but hey rook takes d4 rook c5 check and taking no bishop c6 yeah also rook c rook h5 immediately also looks good but rook takes b4 so he played the move bishop c6 check and now he took it and rook takes before we have rook a5 and yeah it's just a game over very soon we have two bishops for this rook and that's it right also one pawn for black but it's not enough the pawn on a6 uh, will be fall very very soon rook b2 king f1 rook b6 bishop f3 very slowly as you can see take the pawn of course after here after rook d6 just bishop c5 and the game uh, lost for black so rook b2 take the pawn and let's push the pawn until the end right bishop d4 rook a7 a6 bishop e3 you know it's only matter of technique here a7 and that's it rook f8 with queen promoting a queen on a8 just amazing amazing game by Ilyas Miron, Grandmaster from Israel. You know, you just can learn how to play very quiet. Every move counts. You know, every move, develop it, improve it. Just amazing. Let's go for the next game uh, that we won this round. So we have until now 1 0 for Israel against Ireland. Let's see uh, Maxim Brochner with the black pieces. Let's, you know, see it very, uh, you know, fast because really the best game in this round was Ilya Smirin and I, I really want you to think about how he managed to win such a game very important one so c5 93 d6 d4 takes takes knight f6 93 a6 this is the knight of variation and now we can see rook to g1 very interesting move by Connor Murphy international master from Ireland you know it's interesting nowadays there are a lot of games like this let's see what what max played it he5 knight b3 and h5 the point here is just uh, avoiding g4 so bishop g5 bishop e6 queen d3 knight bd7 looks correct bishop e7 g3 probably f4 the best because you must you know attack fast and now f5 this is the threat after e takes f4 probably something around bishop takes and knight d4 and um, yeah f4 it's it's more in the in the spirit of the position you must play fast right so g3 was a quiet move and now rook c8 f4 and queen c7 and after f5 we have the move bishop c4 queen takes queen takes bishop takes rook takes it looks fine i think for black the next move will be b5 castle rook rook uh, f c8 yeah looks fine so rook king b1 was played after queen c7 and now b5 just controlling the c4 uh, square also knight b6 maybe in the next future let's see bishop f6 knight takes and knight d5 knight takes d5 e takes and bishop g4 looks really good for for black bishop e2 and now bishop f6 was played um, yeah interesting because this diagonal very important for black also maybe king f8 g6 king g7 or maybe also castling it's also an option so rook e1 g e1 of course king f8 was played i think overall castle also looks fine 
but maybe not. Yeah, maybe queen f5 or f5. Yeah, with rook e4 take. Yeah, not so easy. Not so easy. King f8 may be better because now after bishop g4 h takes, this rook is coming into the game on h2. So yeah, the rook is very active here. So after king f8, f takes e5, bishop takes rook d2 and now bishop d7. I really like this move. He's understanding that he has two bishops and he wants to control them, right? To, to have them and to attack with these two bishops because only one bishop is not so strong as they are both of them together, right? So now a5, a4 are the threats and also the b5 square uh, are just defended by the bishop on d7. So yeah, good move bishop d7, I like it. Uh, knight d4, rook e8, I think maybe g6 here, just play the move king g7, rook h e8. And the position is seems very bad for for white. Rook e8 was played. Bishop f3. Now they they really uh, came f with 10 minutes uh, per each something around this. And yeah, only 22 moves, so 18 moves to play with only eight minutes for Maxim Rochner and 30 minutes for Connor Morphy. So it's not so easy. Let's see. Knight c6, King g7, Rook e2, Bishop f6, takes, 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 takes. And this position with two bishops is really good for black. And Queen h3, just fantastic move. Here after Queen takes e8, just Queen f1 check, King a2 and Queen takes f3. And the pawn on d5 is bad. Uh, after knight before just a5 and that's it so so yeah queen h3 was amazing move also uh, attacking the pawn on h2 also maybe threatening queen f1 with queen c4 so great move by max queen e2 bishop d7 uh, controlling the center everything is under control queen f5 knight b8 bishop c8 knight c6 and a4 you know, attacking also in the king side now. Queen f4, the pawn on h2 is a weak pawn. h3, queen g3, bishop g2, bishop g5. You know, developing every piece into the game. It's just amazing. c3, bishop e3. As you can see, they are playing with one minute in the in the clock. So just a um, great, great performance by Maxim Rochen in this game. Bishop f1, queen f4 is coming back. Bishop d7, just, you know, just uh, playing some moves. And now queen g5, knight b4, queen f4, yeah, doing that, something there uh, to have the, the time, of course, after 40 moves. And now just controlling with f5. f5 was a mistake. Here I think just queen e3 was much clever then because queen takes, bishop takes, and the next move will be f5, bishop takes, and king f6, g5, g3, you know, g4, and just uh, promoting one of the queens, uh, the pawns, of course. So f5 was a mistake, and now g takes f5 was a really big mistake queen e8 here was interesting solution for for white because now the king on g7 is really weak and maybe there is some checks here right queen takes g2 for example queen takes c8 uh, is a bad move because of queen d5 with uh, the knight on d3 but here just amazing move for white and it's it's really difficult to to look for it knight f4 amazing sacrifice also attacking the queen on g2 and also queen takes g6 this is the threat so bishop takes a four the only move and now repetition three time repetition just checking with you know like with confidence because that's it right here i'm taking this pawn i think yeah that's it yeah just that's it right draw so yeah knight f4 is very very uh, beautiful solution and because of this f5 was not the best but he took bishop takes and this position just lost and yeah max just did it and gave israel a very important win against conor morphy from ireland let's see the you know board number two board number two we have ido gorstein grandmaster ido gorstein against international master tarun kanyamarala yes and uh, so let's see it c4 by ido and now d3 you know, it looks not so good, but of course, Ido knows uh, what he's doing. 9f6, 9f3, 9c6, and a3 is looking that in this position we have the knight of but with the white pieces and one tempo up. e4, knight f6, and bishop e2. It's it's very beautiful to see this position because <laughs> it's just a knight of variation with white pieces. Unbelievable. Bishop c5, bishop to e3, bishop a7, and now h3 was played and after castling just knight c3 
and uh, this looks really fine for, for white rook c1 knight a4 knight c5 just knight of with white pieces right uh, also knight b5 can be possible so bishop e6 rook c1 and take on a7 rook takes and queen d2 i thought in this position maybe to play the move knight to b5 and after bishop takes e3 f takes e3 and it looks really fine queen e1 queen g3 rook c5 the pawn on c7 is weak the pawn on e5 is weak and the center is really strong with the white pieces so knight b5 maybe was better uh, rook takes queen d2 was played by ido and now R bishop d1 very nice maneuvering right bishop to a4 uh, because this bishop on e2 was not a good piece but now on a4 it will be just amazing so bishop a4 queen f6 and just take it b takes and queen e3 and as you can see the pawns here are very bad let's see how in ido is doing here so knight f4 knight e2 is understand you know he understands in the game that this knight on f4 is a very strong move of course bishop h3 is the threat for example rook c2 is just bad bad idea bishop takes h3 g takes queen g6 we checkmate on g2 right so yeah it's just terrible position to play so after knight f4 knight e2 you must play against the best pieces of your opponent now bishop takes a three is a really bad move because g takes queen g6 and knight to g3 and there is nothing here so after knight e2 he played the move rook b8 rook c2 slowly move like we know that ido is doing always rook fd8 knight takes a4 e takes and queen e2 looks promising the c6 pawn is weak d4 rook fc1 looks great for white rook b3 d4 bishop c8 and now rook fc1 yeah the pawns are weak and yeah it seems like he's doing great ido gorstein with white pieces rook b6 rook c5 great move g5 just queen c2 g4 takes takes knight e5 another very strong move by ido and also 14 minutes against only two and a half minutes of uh, the international master from ireland bishop e6 and now knight takes e6 rook takes rook takes rook takes d4 this position just lost rook d1 was played fantastically f3 rook takes queen takes and now g takes f3 with bishop h3 and now only one move is winning this position king h2 and ido did it bishop f1 and now f4 just play f4 and that's it i think right queen c3 rook takes c7 there is nothing to worry about here about the king for example after queen g7 just f3 and the queen is coming the game is over i think but rook c7 was played queen e5 check and now the only move to win this position is f4 after queen takes f4 king g1 bishop h3 i think just rook c3 with rook g3 so that's it and if he's playing the move bishop d3 just queen takes queen takes and most of the ch chances of course to win with white pieces i think overall just b4 and try to push the pawn so king g1 was played a very big blunder unfortunately for Ido Gorstein. also in the 36th move into the game bishop h3 and now there is nothing to do queen g7 queen g5 threatening checkmate on the board and the rook on c7 is under attack so rook c8 check and now just king h7 slowly move with the same idea queen g7 or queen g5 and that's it white is losing unbelievable queen c7 queen g7 queen g3 and this position just lost let's see how it goes but everything was clear here uh, bishop up and yeah unfortunately ido gorsten lost this game with white pieces oh no two one for israel but let's see the last game of this round it was tamir nabati with the black pieces against fide master tom ogoroman so e5 and the spanish bishop c5 c3 knight f6 takes e5 knight d5 castling a lot of theory here but let's go you know fast and strong bishop e7 c takes d4 d6 i think tamir already uh, knew everything here for black just takes takes and castle it seems like until this position tamir has one hour 21 minute while his opponent has one hour 32 so yeah it's it looks in interesting uh, to understand how tamir was not um, sure 100 percent in the preparation of uh, this position h3 was played d takes e5 bishop takes e6 b takes knight takes e5 bishop f6 and in this position 
it seems like Tamir or only need to, to think about draw because there is nothing to play for a win here. Um, he's taking this one, bishop e6, and this position needs to be a win, uh, of course a draw. Uh, but I don't know why uh, Tamir thought maybe to play for a win. He played the move a5, overall after bishop takes a2, rook takes b8, rook takes bishop a7. I don't know, rook b1 takes takes. The game is just uh, over by a draw. But he played the move a5, a3, h6. Bishop e3, king h7, some moves here, but now after rook c8, you know, uh, white feels like, I don't know why uh, my, my opponent doesn't want to do a draw, and just playing active. And here, seems like his, b his pieces are more active than Tamir's. So the pawn on a4 a little bit weak, the pawn on c6 a little bit weak, so let's see. So Tamir now is just uh, really defend, right? Rook e8. King is coming, rook b4, and now rook b7. Yeah, it feels not so good uh, for, for Tamir. And now after rook e6, just rook takes f7. And yeah, it seems like now the position is, is bad because there is nothing attack on this king on f2. Rook e2 check, just king g3. And yeah, c4, rook c2, just rook a5, take and rook a7. The pawn on g7 will be lost very fast after rook takes e6 and bishop takes h6. Yeah, everything is collapsing for black. And yeah, Tamir Nabati lost this game with the black pieces. Really unfortunate. And yeah, the result, the final result of this match, 2-2. I really hope for Israel national team to come back for the next game against Mongolia. We will see it in the next video. If you like this stream and the video, just smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. Every day here in the Chess Olympiad 2024, I will upload two videos. So stay tuned. Bye bye.